Well, you know what? We're talking about the warm weather. It's definitely on the way. And I'll tell you what, you might be thinking about heading outside, maybe eating outdoors right now. Well, you know what? I've got some perfect recipes for you to do just that. Creating delicious food for our backyard party is kind of what it's all about. So we have executive chef and owner of Rasconi's American Kitchen, Michael Rasconi, joining us once again. How are you? Good to Fantastic. see you. Fantastic. It's good to see you too. Well, thank you for coming in this morning. You have you're kind of a, creating a menu for us. Basically, we're starting from the salad to the main course to the dessert all morning long. So you're going to want to stick whole with three us. Whole three-course dinner. Um, easily prepared at home. I've kind of simplified things so you can do them at home. Thank you for that. And we're going to start off with a lovely Asian pear salad with Amish blue cheese mm. and a white balsamic vinaigrette. Ooh, yummy. Okay. So we have a couple different components. So one of the keys is getting a really great blue cheese. This comes from Wisconsin, a small Amish community up there. Okay. It's a farmstead cheese. They make the cheese without the use of electricity, wow. any growth hormones or antibiotics. So it's a really wonderful product. Blue cheese tends to be really salty, so the cheese that you pick is really important. Get a good quality cheese. It could overwhelm your it, salad, it really, right? It really doesn't. It becomes too salty. Right. Um, but this is a really nice blend. We're going to start off with a little is bit that, of... Uh, um, real quick, sorry, Chef. Is that something that we can find at the store? I think or? you can get that at a couple specialty grocery stores. There's some other blue cheeses, like a um, Maytag blue cheese. Oh, okay. And yes, it is the washing machine company that started that cheese. <laughs> it <laughs> really is, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? All right. That's so a good day. we're going to julienne some Asian pears real quick. You know, these have a couple different names. They're called sand pears. Sometimes they're called Chinese apples. I'm going to take and slice them really, really thin. I would not. Stack them on top of each other. A real I quick see julienne. Those and I never, I never, it's like, I don't know if it's an apple or a pear. It's kind of a cross between both. And it's really wonderful because they're really, really refreshing. And you can prepare this a little bit ahead of time because, like, unlike regular pears, they don't oxidize very quickly. Oh. Very okay. crisp, very refreshing, and that's about it. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is I've started some shallots and a little balsamic vinegar, and you're going to help me with this because okay. I'm going to ask you to pour that. A white balsamic. White balsamic. Okay. I like white, white balsamic because it's not as heavy. It has a little bit more acid in it than regular balsamic. You know, and I just bought some the other day, and I couldn't remember why. I, I, there was a recipe I was getting ready to do, and I lost it, and I'm like, now what am I going to do with it? So now I know. Yep. So you have white balsamic in mm -hmm. there, with some shallots. Yep, some shallots, salt and pepper. You just put in some salt and pepper. Just a little bit. I want that to, uh, head start on dissolving. Go ahead okay. and slowly pour in a little oil. Okay. You can see we're going to emulsify that. Okay, Just like that. Enough. That's good. You're good. Ooh, that's good. All and right. that's about it. That's it? And we'll adjust the seasoning. You know, I do this a bunch of different ways in the restaurant. Sometimes I'll infuse some fruit. I brought some that I did with some apricot puree, well, which you know, is a I was nice wondering twist. why that was so thick. Yeah, in that okay. case, you put it in a blender and just do it, pour, slowly pour the oil in with the dried apricots in there, and that works really, really well. Really? Yeah, it's a wonderful okay. thing. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to construct the salad. I have some really wonderful organic wonderful thing. mixed greens here. <laughs> Oh, you're just killing was, me today, I aren't you? I thought that was cute. That you just it's a wonderful thing. Um, the blue cheese. I'm going to throw the blue cheese in here. What we've taken and done on the side is we've uh, spiced some pecans in a hot sauté pan. Mm -hmm. I've sort of sautéed my pecans, tossed a little sugar in there, a little bit of cayenne pepper, Ooh. and a little bit of cinnamon. Going to have a little kick to oh, it, yeah, are we? Oh yeah, just a little okay. bit. Okay. And we're going to put those in there, kind of around the sides. Oh, you're going to do all the. Then we're going to take some of this thing. wonderful dressing. And this is the infused one. This is the did. infused one. You, you can see it's a little thicker. Yeah, I like that though. Yeah, it is. It's it's really great. It, um, the fruit adds a really nice flavor. Helps balance the, the balsamic vinegar, and the apple pears go really really well. You can see I'm going to toss it nice and lightly. So when you're making this at home, is this like a, what is a good rule of thumb? Like a. a Three to one ratio Always, for the balsamic and the oil. If you use a regular balsamic vinegar, it, it has more sugar in it, and you can use that. That works too. Okay. But then I would go 50 50 with olive oil and balsamic vinegar. Oh, okay. With white balsamic vinegar, it has a higher acid content, so you want to balance that out with a little bit more oil. Okay. So I usually go two thirds oil, a third, a third uh, vinegar. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take and plate this up right You're here in front of you. going to make it pretty for us, right? Yep. Oh, looks wonderful. Nice and tight. We're going to put some of these nice nuts right on top. And then we have these wonderful, wonderful Asian pears nice that just add a really refreshing finish to the salad. You serve this up in the restaurant? I do. Awesome. Every night of the week. You know what? Rosconi's, they're um, over on Tatum and Shea. Nice. Nice independently owned restaurant that you're yep. running over there and very popular in the hood. So what are you cooking up for us in the next segment? The next course is beef tenderloin medallions with white truffle scented macaroni and cheese. And he says it's easy. <laughs>
<laughs> it okay. is. I know. Well, you're going to make I it promise. easy for us. I promise. I'll make it easy all for right, you. All right. All right. Thank you very much. You're okay. Welcome. Well, stick around. We're going to we're going to tease your palate a little bit more, Susan.